The Warriors have been named the most intriguing coming into the draft lottery. Why is that? Because everybody's expecting them to, to make some type of move to improve their roster, to help Steph Curry, to help Clay when he's healthy, to help Draymond and their big three uh, uh, to propel them to another championship to contending once again that is what i am here to do welcome make sure to drop that like subscribe but let's get to it the warriors have the seventh and the 14th pick alongside obviously all their players that they currently have they got clay thompson steph curry wiggins another guy consistently in trade rumors and honestly for wiggins situation i know he's con he's gonna continuously be in trade talks um i wouldn't mind keeping him he scored 18 in the regular season in real life. I believe he could score around that even once Clay comes back. Um, he's a solid three-point shooter. He's a solid field goal percentage guy. He can score. Once in a while, he'll play really, really good defense. And he's only 26 years old. Clearly, mo most of the packages to get another type of star would be surrounded around James Wiseman. Now we know I need you to delete the memories that you have of James Wiseman becoming a beast in 2K. We know what he becomes a, in 2K. Nobody knows what he's going to become in real life. But the Warriors are not afforded the time to find that out. They want to win with Curry, who's 33 years old. They want to win with Klay Thompson, who's coming back off like two serious injuries. Uh, Draymond Green isn't getting uh, younger, so they, they need to win now. If they want another run at a championship, they need some other type of star now that hopefully isn't too old to be able to sort of build around him or even flip him in the future if the rebuild begins. I would accept this in a heartbeat. <laughs> in a heartbeat, a 26 Zach Levine that's like about to enter his prime after playing for Team USA, most likely his confidence is going to go up. Uh, he's playing with all those stars, seeing that he can score uh, in, in practices against some of the top players in the NBA. I would take this, and it's the only trade out here. Um, I guess I'll take out Wiseman for now and see what i could get for wiggins we gotta go see what we get for wiggins whether that be a lot of depth uh another star for him um i gotta i gotta go look i gotta go look another rumor player that's going everywhere is kevin love but most likely either in a buyout or if for some reason wiggins for love and then they trade wiseman and a pick or something for another star then they would have kind of an interesting team there but for now i'm gonna try to finesse the league wiggins and the 14th pick Wiggins goes to Canada, we get Pascal, they get the 14th pick, and not only that, they have the 4th pick themselves, so they have the 4th pick, they would have a 14th pick, and they would have a 26-year-old uh, Wiggin, I, Wiggins, I guess, to build around, um, don't know if it would be the best thing for them, I don't think they'll say yes, but if they do, I'm taking the finesse, I'm taking, okay, they don't. They don't. They do not take that. I could offer them a 2022, and then I still have Wiseman and the seventh pick to trade away. Multiple picks probably would make them say yes out here. It might be that they might. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's kind of a little too easy to trade for Pascal. I, I accept that. I know that might not be too realistic, that trade, but but it is what it is. I got to finesse at least a little bit. Uh, a rumored player to go to the Warriors is Pascal, um, but it would obviously most likely involve james wiseman i'm gonna go ahead and draft somebody here but they they might be traded away they might be traded away later on i'm gonna sim to my pick pick whoever's out there all right ladies and gentlemen we'll go out here and get the broke man's kevin durant brandon ingram 23 points around for the last like two seasons we can we know he can score we know he has all-star talent he'll be taking wiggins position he'll be our small forward not we'll have pascal wherever we want to run him we could run small ball um a lot of times uh because pascal will be at the center power forward draymond he'll be at the small forward clay thompson at the two steph curry at the one that we have to wor worry about our depth worry about our center position that's why i'm trying to steal jackson hayes as well here but would they rather have jackson hayes or james wiseman i don't know that's why i'm throwing in james wiseman with putting in davion mitchell essentially is trading away the seventh overall pick so they get that seventh overall pick they get james wiseman they get kelly Oubre jr to match contracts and take the position that brandon ingram is leaving um there you guys go if they get rid of lonzo ball they have davion mitchell and hopefully that's enough to keep zion some somewhat a little bit happy but we're going all in, right? We're going all in. Here's a first rounder. What do you guys say? They're losing too much at the small forward position? For real? Oh, let's go. Brandon Ingram does pop up in Trade Finder. That's what I was hoping would pop up. Obviously, they don't want to give me Jackson Hayes. Um, but there's the trade package for another star in Brandon Ingram. Trading away Kelly Oubre Jr. Essentially, a sign-in trade. 
James Wiseman, the young pick that might end up becoming a star for them. Who knows how he will develop. Davion Mitchell, another lottery pick alongside. And we get Lewis Jr., which I know becomes a beast. Um, and he's going to be coming off my bench. He's going to be my backup for Steph Curry. And I am not mad at this trade whatsoever. James Wiseman is rumored to be traded away. Brandon Ingram, who knows if he's going to stay, if they're going to trade him to try to somehow get Zion more help, even though Ingram's Ingram's nice. Ingram's a bucket. And then my last signing in free agency was for DeMarcus Cousins to return. I don't think I'm going to start him, but he will sure be coming off my bench just as a little bit of insurance to our center spot. We will be running most likely a small ball lineup. Small ball, even though a lot of centers in the league are like 6'9", 6'8", 6'9", 6'10". But here we are. Curry's a 99 overall. 89 for my guy Clay Thompson. 87 for Brandon Ingram. Uh, 84 for Pascal. 81 one for Eric Pascal. Jordan Poole is at a 79. 78 for DeMarcus goes down in a lot of areas. 77 for Draymond, bro. Okay, he might be coming off the bench then and not really offering much. Or I start him still for the defense. But goddamn, that's disgusting. Anyways, Lewis Jr., 77 overall. 75 for Damian Lee. 75 for Juan. Uh, Kevin Looney. 75, Michael Mulder. There it is. There it is. If there's anybody in free agency that I could sign... Um, that didn't get a contract and they want to come for cheap, sure, I'll give them an offer. I'm not going to make any more moves because in reality, what team really goes out there in the offseason and makes like 20 different trades, you know what I'm saying? And so we're done for this season. In real life, I would not expect uh, to Draymond for Draymond Green to just completely fall off the, 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 the rotation, fall off the planet. Um, but here's the lineup. Steph Curry, Kalei Thompson, Brandon Ingram, Pascal, DeMarcus Cousins. I would not want DeMarcus to start if I'm being completely honest. Unless for some reason he had some type of resurgence. But for now, he's the best we got. He is the best we currently have, especially with Draymond going down to like a 77 overall. But I guess we can still start Draymond, which I might do. Because essentially that would be the starting lineup. Something like this. Something like this would be the starting lineup. He's literally getting 12. Oh my goodness. Anyways, just bring your defense. We have enough offense out there. Yeah, bring your defense. We have enough offense. Curry, Thompson, Ingram, Pascal. A literal lineup of all-stars, former all-stars. 25 minutes for Draymond. Hopefully, for some reason, he doesn't get mad at us. Uh, hopefully, he cares more about winning. This is my lineup. Starting Draymond for the defense, for the for the, uh, the for the playmaking, and for being that gritty, tough guy out there that, uh, you know, is the glue guy. Is the glue guy for us. Pascal at the center spot. Might be a little bit too small, as in not height-wise, but I guess weight-wise. Might get bullied down there once in a while. But we'll be fine. Pascal, sixth man. Jordan Poole, seventh man. DeMarcus Cousins, eighth man. Kira Lewis, Kira Lewis Jr., my ninth man. And then Damian Lee, if we ever needed him, he'd have some solid minutes, solid production. Juan, same thing. And Looney, same thing. Team's nice. Team's nice. Playing physical defense. System proficiency. Balance is damn near perfect. Flipped Wiseman. For Ingram, and then what the heck did I do? Flipped Wiggins and the 14th pick, and then a future pick for Pascal. At the trade deadline, and we suck. Why? I have no idea. Zero idea as to why we suck. Thompson is tired, but Curry's on fire. Uh, Brandon Ingram scoring 21, shooting 40%. Pascal, um, yes, Cousins is back in the starting lineup, but only because I had Green starting. He, we were doing just as bad. We were doing just as bad. I guess I could change the minutes around a little bit. Do I got uh, Eric Pascal? I mean, he's not going to rebounding our problem. Rebounding might be our issue. Offense is right in the middle. Our points against is definitely not elite either. We're 20. Okay, that's not horrible. Our differentials too. Man, man, what about? I got to look at rebounding. I got to look at total rebounding, defensive re rebounds per game. Rebounds per game were last. What did I say? Okay, I guess we need to go try to find an elite rebounder to try to help us figure this out. Cody Zeller in 28 minutes is getting 10 boards a game. Uh, he could probably average 12 in per 36. So we need a rebounder. That's literally all I need. He says his archetype's a glass cleaner. We're going for Cody. We're going for Cody. We're getting rid of DeMarcus Cousins. They're, giving, they're getting loony as well. And hopefully that helps a tad bit into our rebounding. Now, I know I could have gone out. I could have gotten Rudy Gobert 
Throw in Draymond, a couple of other pieces, and I saw Rudy Gobert in the trade finder, but I'm not going to do that. We can't do that. That's just not fair. I probably could have also gotten, like, Clint Capella. Um, so I got Cody Zeller, and then I'm going to see if I can maybe get one more guy if we have the money for it. Okay, guys, making one more trade for Udoka Azebuke. Um, Because he's a rebounding beast, I don't know if the Jazz would get rid of him, but I guess we're giving him some type of depth that they want, plus a second rounder. I will take this. I've made way too many trades in hopes that i could maybe possibly pull out a championship win i think the lineup is good enough but clearly we're struggling from the rebounding uh aspect of the game hopefully cody helps us in that department eric's here to hopefully help a little bit uh and then i kind of want to i kind of want to give my man as here uh, uh some minutes because he's a rebounding beast draymond you're kind of hurting us um I don't know what to do. Give these guys a little bit less than I'll give, I guess. I'll give him eight minutes. I'll give him eight minutes. He's the last guy off my bench, but we need his rebounding. So I probably should be giving him more. Is that enough? I don't think so. We end up fourth from like seventh, which I will take. Trey Young is the uh, MVP of the season. Okay, Tony, I'm rookie of the year. Six man goes to Kemba Walker. Oh, six man. I mean, I guess they got Shea at the point guard spot, right? You would think they'd be running together a lot. Probably, they probably still are. That's why he's six man. Jonathan Isaac, defensive player, most improved Killian Hayes. And Stan Van Gundy is the coach of the year. They still balling out there, especially with James Wiseman. No type of team for us, I don't think, unless I skimmed over it. But, but I'm expecting Steph Curry to be Steph Curry. Take over here. We're seventh in the entire NBA. Power rank is seventh as well for us. So, damn, the Pelicans still finished number one, bro. How? Where's our offense? We're top 10 offense. Now our defense, did it improve a little bit? It did. It actually did. Okay, okay, okay. We were just horrible to start. Half of the season, we were just horrible. And I guess it had to do mainly with rebounding. Um, 24 game for Steph Curry with 9 assists. 22 for Brandon Ingram. 16 for Pascal. 15 for our boy Clay Thompson. They're all probably shooting well. 43 from 3. 34 from 3. 42 from three, 44 from three. Like, come on. Cody Zeller out here saving my life. <laughs> but how many more years you got? You got one more? Damn. And not no bird years. So we're going to have to try to somehow finesse a guy that can rebound out there. Good thing we got Azebuke here because he's probably going to be our guy. He's probably going to be our guy. Uh, just go out there and rebound get all the rebounds so we're not we're not out of luck we're not out of luck draymond's gonna continue to decline we'll see what happens in this first season probably not gonna win a championship but you never know they might turn it on we're up against the lakers of all teams who probably have some really great rebounding with lebron with anthony davis with andre drummond so if we beat them we definitely stand a chance now we're up against golden not golden state new orleans the team that we made a huge trade with they finished number one they're starting mitchell is it because of his deep i'm confused lonzo has good defense as well they had a trade they had to have traded him they made mad trades he is atrocious in these playoffs they traded for cj mccollum i'm guessing lonzo was involved so CJ is here. Kelly Oubre, we gave them. Zion's been here. We gave them James Wiseman, Jackson Hayes, Stephen Adams, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Josh Hart, Eric Gordon. They made moves to try to make him happy. They finished number one overall. That would effectively, you would think, make him happy. They reached the second round, and the pro it's, their time is up. Their time is up. They've met the Splash Bros and company, which and company means other all-stars, we 4 won that team. They're too young. Wiseman starting. Mitchell starting. Zion's first playoffs as well. Like, no. It's not enough. It's not enough. Now it's Golden State against Minnesota. D'Angelo, Anthony Edwards, Jared Culver, Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns. Are we really going to struggle rebounding? He knows he's only getting five. He's getting 12. So there's one major rebounder. And then Jared Culver helps quite a bit. So other than that, we should be kind of equal. We should be kind of equal now. And it's Minnesota, so, like, we should beat them. We were seventh. At a moment, we were seventh in the league. We somehow jump, jump up to fourth to end it, and we are into the finals up against a super team or Philadelphia. And, uh, okay, I mean, I'll kind of take this. I kind of take this. Oh, gee, Toronto's making mad moves then. Who'd they get? Tobias? They got Tobias? They either got Tobias or Cleveland got Tobias. But they have Ken Burch. They have Batum. They've made moves. They've made moves to get here. I don't know if I like it, but they should have more rebounding than us. 
which I think is the 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 catalyst. More rebounding. They are a seventh seed though, so like they really shouldn't be destroying us. I'm just gonna let it roll. Uh, if we come back, we come back. We win a championship. But so far, this 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 is looking good. This is looking good. Oh my gosh. Oh, they actually almost had it there, but we do pull it out. It's a seven game series. Do we win a championship in year one? Come back from a three one deficit. Philadelphia pulls it out. 3-1 was too much of a deficit to come back from. Warriors, no match for K-Love and our 76ers. They just have rebounders, bro. K-Love, out of all players, 31. <laughs> Damn. 11 rebounds, 9 rebounds. Embiid had 10 rebounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I know my problem. We've still reached the finals. Hopefully, we get a championship. And then maybe, just maybe, we go back to back. Here we are, year two. Ingram goes up two overall. Thompson starts declining. Pascal continues to improve. Pascal, the other Pascal, goes to an 82. 81 for Kira Lewis Jr. Jordan Poole, an 80. Cody stays the same. Somehow I was able to retain him. Like, I legit gave him $10 million. Um, I don't know how I was able to. There was no bird rights or anything, but I somehow could give him $10 million. We had Tristan Thompson. He wanted $9 million. I was like, yo... I'll bring in as much freaking rebounding as I possibly can. Why not bring in Tristan Thompson just in case we could use him? Had those battles with him over in Cleveland when they were making the finals, and so were the Warriors. Uh, Azubuka goes up to a 77, so he might not be ready quite yet. I'll give him, like, an untapped potential, and then, and then we'll be good. We'll be good. I think we're okay. I don't think I need to make many more moves. I've already made, like, a million which I didn't want to in the first place, but it just is what it is. Here we are with the lineup coach who wants to start Tristan Thompson. I'll start Tristan Thompson. Um, it's not like he's going to hurt us in the rebounding department. He's a glass cleaner as well. So coach wants to start him. Coach will start him. Cody Zell is an 80 overall. I don't know why he wouldn't want to start him, but it's fine. It's fine. 80 overall, Jordan Poole off my bench. 81, Kira Lewis Jr. 82 overall, Eric Pascal. The bench looks really nice. Uh, as a book and not part of it, not part of the rotation. Draymond, not part of it. Like I said, I don't think he's going to fall off that hard by the age of freaking 32, but you never know. Don't know why 2K has it set like that, but I don't think he's going to fall off that hard. Playing physical defense, year number two are, yeah, we should still look great. 99 overall, Steph Curry, like, come on, bro. We'll see what we do year two. We've built up a little bit more chemistry, um, but still, two. Okay, okay. I got a little scared there with two L's. Back-to-back -back L's to start the season was terrifying, but hopefully we're a number one seed or a number two seed in the Western Conference, which is always tough. Um, but we made it out to the finals already. Why not again? What the hell? He averaged 42 points? When does that ever happen? <laughs> he scores 42. They give him the MVP as he should. 50-40, almost 90. That type of efficiency while you're averaging 42 points is just ridiculous. Yeah, give him the MVP. Well deserved. Ryan Little, Rookie of the Year, Six Man Bowl Bowl, Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player, Most Improved, Lamelo, Steve Kerr, 65 and 17, Number One, Number One. We're so elite. Oh my, Donovan Mitchell though. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're gonna. Oh, Steph Curry does make an All NBA Third Team. He said he'll take it into his own hands because uh, clearly it didn't work last season. We didn't finish number one last season, but number one this season. We shall take that. Now we go look at our team stats. Of course, number one. One game ahead of the Celtics. Ooh. Celtics starting Peyton. Uh, they got Jonas Valanciunas instead at the center spot. They got Harrison Barnes off the bench. Hey, yo, interesting team. They finally made some more moves than, than usual. Number one in offense. Number four in defense. Number one in differential. Yes, sir. What is our rebounding looking like? Because clearly that is the problem that we had before. E, it did not look the best. It did not look the Okay, we're top, top half. Top half of the league. And these guys are all at 49, so we could easily be 11th. We could easily be top 10. Player stats, Steph scores 27, Ingram 25, 17 Pascal, Clay 15, 11 for Kira Lewis Jr. off the bench. I don't even think he's my sixth man. Eric 11. Off oh, yeah, this team's dirty. This team's nice. He's getting 6 and 6 off the bench, averaging 13 and 13 per 36. Yes, sir. Reach the finals. Oh, my. We sw They're number. They're the eighth seed now. Wiseman's a freak, though probably um that's tough that's tough that's tough well hopefully that we have an easy time with the new orleans pelicans since they are the eighth seed we are the number one seed by far so yes 4-1 beautiful championship 
championship number two, uh, um, season number two is what I meant to say. Patrick Beverly, Donovan Mitchell. I guess he doesn't have a lot of offense, so he has to be the offense. Oh, my gosh. Poor Donovan Mitchell, bro. He literally has zero offensive players on his team. He's got, oh, no, there's no way. I mean, if he beats us, if he reaches the finals, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Donovan Mitchell, bro. I'm sorry that's your team. <laughs> I would be so mad. Morant, Grayson Allen, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson, nice team. They luckily have not gotten like a KD or a Kawhi Leonard uh, because they do do that all the time. They trade for like Zach Levine. The Memphis Grizzlies out here sometimes, they surprise the hell out of me. Um, but it's too easy for us. I'm, I have to defeat my Bulls. Uh, overall wise, they are looking nice. They add Mikael Bridges. They add Jermichael Green. They add DeLon Wright. Okay. Okay. Ricky Rubio off the bench as well. Nice squad. Nice squad. But Bulls, we're just better. We're just better, Chicago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We 4-1 or 4-0, everybody. We win a championship. Let's see if we can end it back to back. Steph Curry gets his finals MVP finally. And technically, there should be some youth still improving, right? Here we are, guys. We've only lost out on one player, which was, I think, Damian Lee. I think it was. It was somebody. It was somebody. We lost out on him. Curry had said he went down, but I gave him a combo guard uh, a training camp in the offseason. He went up back to a 99. Thompson did go down to an 86. Ingram's at a 90 overall for us. Pascal's at an 88. 81, Cody Zeller back in the starting lineup. Kira Lewis Jr. is our sixth man. Pascal, our seventh man. Azebuke, our 18th man. And Green finally getting some minutes back because we lost out on that one player. Hopefully, we do well enough with Draymond still playing there. Like, he should still offer some type of defense. His efficiency is probably atrocious. But that's why he's only getting 10 minutes a game. We're going to go with the same squad. System proficiency still looks damn near perfect. And let's just simulate the regular season if we're suck. If we suck, um, I will try to go out there and make some moves. Right now, we're kind of going even. I think my starting lineup is just good enough, though, to just start winning some games. It might. I don't think Draymond in 10 minutes would be causing us to lose all these games, right? We'll, we'll pick it up. Donovan Mitchell not out here scoring a 40, or maybe he still is, but he's just not the MVP. Cade Cunningham is the MVP um, in his third season. Yeah, he's that'd be ridiculous. Reggie Benjamin, Rookie of the Year, six-man bowl ball. Jonathan Isaac, defense player, most improved. Cade and Silas, they're number one in the league. We're number two, um, at least in the, the Western Conference, but our power rank is still number one. So maybe they're quite not ready, hopefully. Hopefully. And we steal one out and we finish with back-to-back -back championships for this Golden State Warrior rebuild. Steph Curry still all NBA third team, so we're cool. We're cool there. No uh, defensive team, of course. No, I didn't expect one. We finished 61 and 21, which is literally right behind the Rockets, uh, the Celtics, the Nuggets are 54 wins. Our offense, number three, our defense, number one, our differential, number one. So hopefully we're doing good enough. Um, let's go look at our player stats and see our rebounding. Our rebounding should be fine as well. 26 for Curry, 9.6 assists, a steal and a half. 21 for Brandon Ingram, uh, 17 for Kira Lewis Jr. off the bench. God damn. Uh, 16 for Clay Thompson still, 16 for Pascal, uh, 10 and 10 for Cody Zeller in like 28 minutes, 30 minutes, 27. Wow. Okay, part 36 would still be 13 and 13. Eric, 10 and 4 off the bench. 8 and 6 for Udoka, which would be 16.7 and 13 as a... Oh, you sure you don't want to start him instead? He offers a little bit more offense. Not only that, I think he would offer a little bit more defense as well. So I'm going to go into coaching. Maybe that'll make a difference. Oh, coach wants to give him less anyways. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Curry, Thompson, Ingram, Pascal. Yes, sir. Uh, Kira Lewis Jr. is beasting it. So maybe a little bit, even less, even less to Draymond Green. Essentially going eight-man rotation, cutting the rotation down. Um, so we could go ahead and win a championship back-to-back. -back. Give a couple more there. Clay should, eh, Clay. Clay gets dirty. We're gassed. They're tired. They're old. But one more championship. Do you have it in you? One more championship. So let's start this damn simulation. New Orleans. We keep going up against them. It's like our third time, at least our second time in the first round. Uh, the other time was in the second round that we beat them. And they're giving us some trouble. The, the team that we gave, the team that we gave Wiseman to 
who only scored 9 and 12 that game, 18 and 10 in the playoffs. They still have Kelly Oubre Jr. Smart move for them, bad move for them. I don't know. They're not really doing anything around Zion and James Wiseman. Now we're up against Denver and the MVP and Nikola Jokic. Obviously not this season, but uh, they're a little bit undersized. I mean, he's gets eight rebounds, though. Keldon Johnson's 6'5 at the power forward position. Like, what? Oh, he's getting seven boards, though. They're not undersized at all if the guy's getting seven boards. And then Nikola Jokic probably getting, like, 14 boards or something. Um, but here we are. Oh, my. Oh, my. Put me up against Houston. I want it. I want to go up against Houston. Tyus Jones, LeBron trying to make another finals. Uh, Josh Jackson at their two. Drummond. Okay, so, yeah, the, the, the rebounding is going to be insane. They got Trest. Oh, I'm looking at per 36. Have I been looking at per 36 the entire time? I might have. I might have been. Um, but let's go ahead and beat the, this Laker team. LeBron. A last LeBron versus uh, Golden State. A last LeBron versus Curry matchup there. But we reached the finals up against the number one seeded Boston Celtics team. So three seasons, we've reached the finals. Oh, they got Clint. They fix up their center. But not, not only that, they get Miles Turner. A, a trade rumored guy that is always tr in trade rumors. The ah, their bench is not the best, though. The bench is not the best. They still only have Peyton at their one. I think it's I think it's the Warriors. So we've reached. Oh no, we've reached the finals three times. Oh no, three final appearances and only one championship, most likely. Wow. Unless we come back from this, but it is a three-one deficit. The same thing happened in the first season when we reached it. Um, we we made it a seven-game series, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, and it looks like it's not enough. We're not even gonna go seven. It is what it is, though. I don't always win everything in these rebuilds. We did get one championship in three seasons. We do reach three finals, though. So they're back to competing at a really, really high level. It's just they did they didn't they didn't they didn't win more. They didn't win more. Curry's already 36 years old. He won a, his finals MVP finally. He gets another ring, which effectively makes him a four-time champ when he could have been. A six-time champ if I've won those other th other two final appearances. It is what it is. I've only won one here. Really solid. Fourth overall, first overall, second overall. I'll take it. Three finals appearances, one championship. I wish it was more, but you can't always have what you want. Drop that like. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.